Jay. Teak, how are you? How are you? Good. Thanks for having us. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks for coming. Everybody, Jay Lund, owner developer of the Kimpton Cottonwood Hotel, Omaha, Nebraska. What Let's go think? take a look. Let's get a little tour. Come on. There's the historic part of the building and then the newer addition uh, of the building, which how we'll get to later. Building? How old the is the building? The building is over 100 years old. It was built in 1916. The building was an office building from the late 70s all the way up until our renovation that uh, we started a little over three years ago. A lot of what you see was sort of recreated. There were some historical elements that we were able to uncover. Such the, as? Such as the this uh, beautiful tile floor so that we're standing man, under. What, what was here when it well, was Well, it's about three layers of flooring. After the second one, we started to uh, keep scrape digging. and scrape and scrape and kind of notice, oh my God, I think that there's a floor here. And marble staircase, which goes down uh, to the cottonwood room, which you'll see later, all the way up to the second floor is original. All right, you want to go upstairs and check out the rooftop ballroom? Let's do it. So we're now on the eighth floor of the building. This room was the centerpiece of the Omaha social scene for the early decades. So we named this after the longtime hotel owner, the Schimmel family, Charles Schimmel. This was the room for Omaha. This is where all the biggest events occurred and we have a ton of great old photos. You'll see some of them on the wall downstairs. One of the most iconic ones is where you see the podium over there is Richard Nixon announcing his campaign for presidency in 1967. There we go. I could be Richard Nixon. This is the shot. Right? <laughs> I'm not a crook. <laughs> so not a redoing this hotel is sort of the, also the centerpiece of this area. Yep. What's the area called? Yeah, it's called the Blackstone District. Of course it is. So named yes. after the, the, of course. the Blackstone Hotel. And yeah, you guys are it. instrumental in redeveloping the whole area. Yeah. And this is the centerpiece had to be done. It did. We call this the presidential suite. Now, this is a part of the seven rooms that, again, we have most of our bridal parties are in here getting ready and having their friends up before the wedding and after oh, yeah, the wedding. Oh yeah, so you need space. Is this one of the nicest rooms in the city? I think so. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the most unique. So here again, right you kind of see the, a cool view downtown from here. We tend to get sort of a lot of wows on these bathrooms. Clawfoot tub again, overlooking downtown. And you know, we designed this completely original wallpaper where you've got native Nebraska plants and flowers. And again, just kind of tried to have a thoughtful approach to, to everything that we did here. Entering from the the old building. Into the new. Into the new. So this is the garden lounge, we call it. One of the most Instagram areas. Is this? The, yeah. Okay, you ready to head outside? The legend of the Cottonwood Pool? Stop! Oh, hey, you? welcome to the Cottonwood to Hotel Pool Club. I've heard a lot about this. This is gonna be a good day. Glad to have you. Jay did a great job showing us around the hotel. He Gorgeous. always does. Gorgeous. We really view this as, as our jewel of the hotel. I can see why. We weren't really advised to do such a big pool in a seasonal climate like like Omaha. Yeah, who um, signed off on this? <laughs> we knew the city wanted something like this, that a pool of it really tried to hold it to, you know, Olympic length, 70, you know, 25 yards. It's just a little bit short of that. We had Olympic swim athletes warming up in here before they go down and try and qualify oh, for the Olympics here? in 2020. Just this summer, we added this food truck in here. Oh, that's brilliant. This is the famous pool house bar here. So this is custom made terracotta. We're trying to figure out what kind of bar top could withstand being both inside and outside oh, sure. in the weather. So we had them custom make that for us. Started off as a pretty simple space, almost open air, and we, 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 we just kept growing along the way. I learned with we Tom. Kept, we kept growing. We were lucky as we were opening the hotel and developing it, lots of people in the community came forward and said, I've got things from the hotel. We had a gentleman come in, he had a picture from 1950s from the committee chop house, the lower level. It was called the Golden Spur Diner and he had one of the Golden Spurs. And then also on the wall next to that was this barbed wire art that was done by an actual well-known artist. So this is on loan from yes. the estate of yeah. the artist. This is a, the Orleans room. Uh, not, not, not Orleans. My, my late 80s parents treated me like the child that they think I am and said it's Orleans, young man. Orleans. Uh, the Orleans Room was a French restaurant for, for many decades, best restaurant in Omaha in many ways. The tile, when we started rehabbing the hotel, we didn't have any idea all this original tile was there. 
This is original. This is the original tile. Here's actually a picture. This is from 1935. This was the space where the Orleans room bar was. Okay. You can actually see in the oh, concrete yeah. where it was a half moon. Uh -huh. But we put it right back in. This is our lobby bar. Where we're heading towards here is the Orleans Cafe. We were able to condense the kitchen space so the Orleans has its own kitchen, but we're able to carve out a little space of what was the kitchen. This functions as our really, definitely our breakfast and lunch uh, restaurant space for the hotel. Yeah, this is the entrance to the Cottonwood Room. This is almost stitch for stitch back to the original layout for the Cottonwood Room. And then this is the, the famous bar. Uh, when we bought this building, this was storage space, but when I had demoed the plywood floor, I saw the rusted iron ring where the original tree in that picture was still there. So we put that tree in the exact location that that iron ring was. I assume you saw the famous Richard Nixon picture no, we talked about. Oh, so this is Richard cool. Nixon in 1967 announces candidacy for presidency. Here's Reagan with his, I think that was his first wife, uh, having tea. And then this is Marlon Brando with his family. So Marlon Brando sure. was born and raised in Omaha, I think until he's about 12 or 13. So this is the committee chop house. This was the Golden Spur Diner space, actually, Thank many you. years ago. This is a great picture here. So that's from the eighth floor ballroom. Oh, wow. Jay, one of my partners on this project, found his grandfather in that picture. In the 1920s, Charles Schimmel, a longtime owner of the hotel, had a card game. He and his buddies, they called themselves the committee. Charles Schimmel's son was asked by Ruben Kulikovsky to make him a sandwich with some corned beef. Oh, sure. With his experience in continental cooking, put together on rye, first Reuben sandwich ever made. The hit from the committee members, they went ahead and put it on the menu. The poker table that's in here is the actual that poker table cool. that the first Reuben sandwich of the history of the world was served on. The Schimmel family had four sons. His father needed to give a hotel to every one of them. And each of the sons became the manager of each of those hotels. And they decided it'd be fun to make playing cards with each of the sons in front of the hotel as the ace. Tom, thank you. This is fantastic. Thanks for coming to the Cottonwood Hotel. Thanks team. for having us. Uh, and on behalf of the hotel industry, welcome to the hotel industry. You got here in a big way. Well, we'd love to have you back. We always say here, Cottonwood Hotel, come as a guest, leave as a friend. Does that mean we're friends? We're we'll friends. See. Oh, I'm diving in. Yeah. Let's go.